Please welcome Tony Wynn, digital reporter for OzarksFirst.com. That's our that's our page. That's our thing. So Tony is one of the most creative guys I've ever met, and you have something that we look forward to every year because you get to use all that creativity. <laughs> Tell me what you got. Uh, well, this year I'm uh, re reprising a uh, a segment that I. I have been doing for a couple of years and that's just kind of touring around um, Springfield um, trying to find some local haunted houses actual haunted houses and things like that and this year I thought well why why just limit myself just to Springfield let's just go out and see what's out there you okay know? and you're still calling it Frightly News I am I'm calling it Frightly News Investigates oh, okay. yeah so um, yeah it's kind of evolved I think through the years hasn't it it bit? has it has uh, but it's always based around Halloween it's mm -hmm. always something kind of spooky something something kind of fun and That's the name Frightly. <laughs> hence that. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided to uh, head out to Ozark to a uh, to a, a morgue oh. that you can spend the night in. I had okay. no idea. Yeah. And you have a clip of that we're going to watch. I do. Is that correct? Yes. Well, let's take a look. We know that because they didn't have enough lighting in the basement before there's electricity. So um, that has been a very active spot, and I'm not sure why but I know the stairs were behind the tub and we did have to close that off to be able to put the clawfoot tub and a shower in there. So gotcha. um, I know a lot of bodies have passed through that room, <laughs> at mm -hmm. least in the 40s when it was the funeral home, I know that, but. How about this back one back here? Can you make it go off? It's just a dark, something i mean you can see the dark outline it was a very tall um, dark figure so it uh, looks like maybe um, a three-quarter length you know um, turn of the century dress or a pastor's cloak and it's it's hard to make out but we were all when she took that picture we were all at the other end of the room no one was over there there's a shadow that would have made it or anything so there have been um, multiple photos and other evidence you would say from some of the teams that stay here okay tell us about that <laughs> so yeah what i mean world? <laughs> right off the bat uh the appeal is that okay well it's a, a an old funeral home used to be um, a morgue it was an embalming uh place like um and also a church that you know did a bunch of services so it throughout its entire conception it was kind of always about death in a way mm -hmm. and then even that after the fact, um, after it uh, closed down for for a bit before reopening, mm. um, you know, it it seems that people have stuck around, um, and uh, the owner there uh, decided that you know so many people had stories and you know um, thought that uh, you know what I'm I'm gonna make this a, a B and B and have people spend the night and that is uh, very unique. Do they do that year round or just around Halloween? Uh, so no, yeah, it's year round. They started in February oh. and uh, so far um, they've said that every single person that stayed there has had an experience except for two people. Um, uh -huh. And so uh, pretty good numbers yeah. and uh, a bunch of uh, all, all over the country, a bunch of um, ghost hunters, investigators have have come to little old yeah. little Ozark just to just try that. out this place. So. Yeah. So who do you work with in finding these places? Well, I work with a group called the Southwest Ghost Finders. They're locally here in Springfield, uh, kind of led by um, uh, a woman named K uh, Kim Looney, mm -hmm. and uh, Kim has. Uh, a plethora of these uh, ghost hunting tools that beep and buzz and do all these things <laughs> that detect, you know, uh, paranormal activity right. and things like that. Right. So we use all these items, uh, these tools to, you know, measure, uh -huh. um, you know, the, the strange occurrences that, you know, happen and try to see if this place, uh, wherever they're trying to investigate, if it's indeed haunted or not, mm -hmm. you know. So when do new episodes drop? So I'm going to drop it every single Tuesday. Okay. And so uh, just today, just right at 3 o'clock, just as the show started, uh, I dropped uh, that episode, the nice. um, the uh, historic morgue on uh, OzarksFirst.com. On Ozark First. OzarksFirst.com. Okay. And yeah. how long will you be doing this? So I'll be doing it uh, throughout the whole month of October as a, a Halloween thing. So uh, Halloween lands on a Tuesday, so I figured why not just drop it on every Tuesday? That's a good idea. Maximize yeah. the amount of time. Can we go back and find episodes from previous years? Absolutely. So uh, I've been doing it for a few years, 
in at the bottom of all the articles and also uh, there's a category on the home page where you okay. can find Frightly News Investigates or just Frightly News and it's it's all there okay. for you to uh, enjoy. Thank you for coming on and sharing with us Thanks what you've got me. going on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Tony.